Well, now that we've seen how to work with tables, let's take a look and see how we could work with pictures and images on our presentation. I want to go ahead and insert a new slide, so I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down arrow here for new slide. And again, I'm going to go ahead and select the title and content layout. So I'm going to go ahead and click there, and you're going to see that I get these different options. And again, there's some options for picture and for clip art here. But this isn't quite what I want. I actually want to be able to place a picture to the left and then put some information about that picture to the right. So this layout won't really work for me. So I'm going to come here to my Layout tab, and you're going to see that we get some different options here. The option that I'm going to choose is Two Content, where I've got content side by side. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now you're going to see the way this slide is set up. I'm going to go ahead here and click where it says Insert Picture from File. When I do that, it's going to open up a dialog box, and it's going to allow me to choose an image file from my computer. I'm going to go ahead and come to my desktop, and on my desktop, I've gone ahead and created a folder and placed some graphics inside of it. And you can see the images that are there. I'm going to go ahead and select this image right there, and then select Insert, and you'll see the image is placed on my slide. It didn't actually resize the image to fit the area, but I can very easily move this around just by pointing in the center of it and dragging, and then I can point at the lower right-hand control point, and you're going to see how I can make that picture larger. I'll click where it says click to add title, and I'm going to go ahead and type Titan Baseball information. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I accidentally clicked on that clip art option there. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this over, and I'm going to go ahead and move this, drag this up and over just to sort of get them spaced in there, right? looking the way I want them to look. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring this over so it's aligned a little bit better. And then bump this over so I've got some more padding there. So you got to kind of play with that and fine tune it. But now I can simply click here and type whatever text I want into this particular uh, box. And I've just gone ahead and copied some text and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there just by using copy and paste. And you'll see the way that gets set up. And again, you can come in here and format this text however you like. For example, let me go ahead and this is hit enter there and then I can highlight all this text and I can change some of the things about my paragraph formatting if I want just by clicking this little paragraph guy here. And if you're not familiar with this little icon, what it does is it brings up a dialog box for the particular group that you're in. If I click on there, I'll bring up a dialog box with information about the text that I have highlighted. And you can see here, I'm aligning to the left, but I've actually got some indentation on here. And I'm going to go ahead and type 0 and 0 in there. And then going to go ahead and actually increase the amount of spacing a little bit. And now you'll see the way that text appears. And I can make this text box just a little bit larger there. And that's all there is to it. So images are very easy to work with inside of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. After you've brought your image in, you can always click on the image, and you're going to see you get a picture tools section up here, where you can work with some of Microsoft's tools here. Uh, a lot of these tools don't look too terribly great, but some of them do. For instance, what I can do is I can um, change the way the frame around this picture might look and adjust it in any of these ways here. So I might want to choose, let's say, I just want a small frame around this. I'm going to go ahead and choose that style there, and you'll see the frame around my picture. Yeah, I'll make that a little bit smaller. There we go. So be sure to explore your picture tools here, and you may find some things that um, interest you. I'm going to go ahead and insert another new slide by clicking New Slide, and I'm again going to select Title and Content. 
And this time, I'm going to use this entire area for my picture. And I'm just going to click up where it says click to add title and type sample PowerPoint image. Now, before I clicked right here, and it allowed me to open a dialog box up and choose a picture from um, my computer. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to click to the right of that on clip art. When you do that, it's going to bring up a dialog box over here to the right that's going to allow you to search through Microsoft's clip art collection. And I'm going to go ahead and again type baseball there. If I look under all media types, you're going to see that it brings up all four media types that they have in the library. I don't want audio and video. I just want uh, photographs and illustrations. So I'm going to leave those two checked. And you can also choose whether or not to include office.com content. And if you're connected to the internet over um, some sort of wireless network, or if you're always on the internet not using a dial-up connection, that's always a good button to check. And then you can click go, and it's going to search and find items that are tagged with the word baseball. So for example, I can scroll down here, and there is a couple of pictures. So let's say I want to go ahead and grab this picture right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and you're going to see it gets placed in that um, slide. Now, if I wanted to crop this down, so maybe I just want the baseball right here, I can use PowerPoint's built-in cropping tool, and that's right here. Now, again, cropping is different from resizing. When you resize something, the whole image is still there. You're just changing the amount of space the image has. But when you crop something, you actually change what's seen in the picture. For example, I'm going to go ahead and click on Crop and select Crop. And you're going to see I get these frames on the corners and the sides of the image. And that's just like the resize handles. What I can do now, though, is I can point at any of those handles Press and hold and drag over, and you're going to see that it sort of cuts down the amount of space. I'll drag that up. And when the area that I want to keep for the picture is all that's left, you can just simply press the Enter key on your keyboard, and it will crop that image. And then after you've done that, click outside of your slide here. And there I have an image of a baseball. And you're going to see here we've got things other than uh, photographs. I also have some clip art here. I could click on that clip art and position it wherever I want. Maybe I want to go ahead and drag this down here into the lower right hand corner. And I've got a little baseball player going. Or maybe I can put him over here where he's in with the triangle there. And that way it won't interfere if I want to put some text in this area. Now, when I place this clip art on the slide, you'll see it here, and I'm going to bump it up a little bit. There we go. But it's only on this slide. If I look at my other slides, there's no clip art there. If you wish to place something on your slide and have it repeat on every slide, you need to add it to the slide master. And again, we'll have some videos a little bit later on that talk about working with slide masters and also customizing slide masters. But for right now, we could just simply copy and paste that image onto each slide. 